Did you know that there are eight times as many atoms in a teaspoonful of water than there are teaspoonfuls of water in the Atlantic Ocean? Pretty crazy, right? Mmm. You know what they say, an atom a day is the foundation of all existence and matter. Welcome to Smosh Lab! That's right, this is Smosh Lab. You know what we do, we do science and stuff, and it's awesome. It's super awesome. Today's experiment is gonna be really fun. If you haven't guessed it from probably all the other experiments that we do, we here at the Smosh Lab love to light things on fire. So today's experiment is the coffee creamer blowtorch, and it's gonna blow your mind. It's very dangerous, so please do not try to replicate this at home. Just enjoy us doing it and putting ourselves in danger. Uh, we have professionals on set who are trained to deal with these sorts of things. One of whom, my scientist, Nick Uhas. Woo, yeah! Woo! I'll be your scientist any day, you, man. You are my scientist. All day, every day. My scientist. Coffee is very hot, right? We've coffee, heard stories yes. about people who have been burned from drinking I've coffee, right? I've burned my tongue on coffee a and lot. Most people cool off their coffee by putting in cream or creamer or milk, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Well, there's a certain kind of creamer actually called non-dairy coffee creamer. Uh -huh. And it is very uh, particular in the sense that it is actually carbon-based, but very fine, meaning like the actual little bits and pieces of it are very small. I see. And if we can get those things airborne, and if we have a fire source, my prediction is, is that we, we can, can create a human being. <laughs> Explosion. Yeah! Yes! All right. We obviously need to go outside for this. Let's I'm do assuming. this, man. Three, two, one. Bam! All right, we're outside. Let's do this. Do you have goggles? Uh, goggles. 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 Go. go. This All right, so we're making some dank coffee today. Yeah, buddy, we yeah. got a ton of right. coffee creamer. This is non-dairy coffee creamer. Non-dairy, okay, Anthony? Uh, Why don't you light that up? Boom. Now the key for this is, wow. Wow. yeah, that's it, guys. Nice. Wow. That's it, that's Science. it. Science, we're done that? here. Comment down below what other experiments we should do. All right, All right, I'm gonna great. try to give you just like a little bit of like idea right here. So the one thing we we'll make sure you do is you push out with your arms and you squeeze and then you bring it down to the flame. All right. right. So I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot here. Sometimes Let's it works, it. sometimes it doesn't. Let's, we'll see what happens, okay? Nope, that didn't work. No, okay. that didn't work at all. Woo! Oh! Whoa! Okay, so we're gonna do that one more time, right? I'm gonna light another match, okay? And instead of going, coming up and then going down, we're gonna go down to up. Guys, make sure to not try this at home. Use your coffee mate for coffee. Mmm, that's my kind of coffee. Right, so it'll be like that, right? Okay, yeah. And then as you squeeze it, just make a line with it. Okay, great, so yep. just, just like. It was close, yeah. it was close, yeah. it was really close. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's getting there. Dang it. We're gonna we're gonna relight this. This is here's the issue here. Yeah, that's the issue. Not me. Alright. Nice little starting source. Okay. Alright, All right. here we go. And yep. you got Oh! Uh, this is like my my rap lyrics. <laughs> that's that's actually the most accurate. All right. Woo! Nick. Yes. What is it in the creamer that makes it flammable? Good thing you asked. In fact, the ingredients are right here on the back. So I'll tell you. <laughs> and it's like <clears throat> Satan powder. Super flammable powder. Nice. That's crazy. It actually says corn syrup solids. Now, corn syrup solids are also carbon-based, but they're a little tiny particle, right? This can apply to other things like flour, right? So anything mm. that you have that is less than 500 microns, 
If it is airborne, it is carbon-based, you have an ignition source, it will go up in flames. And so there we have it. So what we're doing is we're taking this, which is actually about on average, the particle size here is 150 microns. So we're talking a very fine powder. We're putting it into the air, which is about 20%. So we have oxygen that's in the air, right? Right. And that, with their ignition source, is creating fire. That's, an, that's, a, that's, that's insane. I definitely zoned out halfway <laughs> through that story because I was not able to light this. A really fun fact though is that this is actually used in a lot of Hollywood magic. So when they do big explosions for Hollywood sets, they actually use this non-dairy coffee creamer. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, and also flour will do the exact same thing. So if you get flour airborne and it's you know sort of floating around in the air and it'll you light it, it'll ignite it. In fact, that's what happens with these silo explosions in the Midwest. They have all this oh, dust that's it's coming from these, uh, you know, grains that's flammable, and with and the action, kaboom, dude. Yep, done. Uh, let's get some people out here. Uh, Keith Noah. Whoa! Yeah! Woo! Oh, oh God! Fire. Oh, fire, yeah. fire! So we got our two assistants out here, <laughs> Keith and Noah. Uh, you guys want to give this a shot? Okay. Yeah. Do it. Get it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Bit. Not fair. Salt thing. Oh! No one destroyed it, dude. No. <laughs> no watch here. You guys are gonna blow us all up. This is definitely awesome. dope. I have to admit, this one, this one's exciting. You just taught me like movie magic. Like, yeah. I'm going to be making. Yeah. I won't be making We're, action films actually. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. Let me run from the explosion. Okay. Let's, oh yeah, yeah. Go like, back far there. Go back far. Wait, no, because I'm running. Okay. You know, like. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Dude, guys, this is awesome. That was kind of uncontrolled, right? That was kind of like the heathen method of making a flamethrower out of this non-dairy coffee creamer. What I have down here is I have these tubes, right? And so yeah. what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this tube, we're gonna position it in between this right here, we're gonna load it, and then we're gonna, with our lungs, push the air out, which is gonna push the coffee creamer out, and you're gonna be able to light the end of it, and you're gonna be able to light your fireball. What? Yes. I'm not ready. So, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? So we're gonna give you like a lot of ignition sources here. All right, Shane, don't let us down, buddy. Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> yep. Three, two, one. Just spit fire. Dude, you are a dragon! Actually. Your track yeah. is on fire, you just spit it down. Woo! Okay, who else wants to try it? Who else wants to I breathe? Want to the fiery, fiery, sweet, sweet. I always coffee. wanted to be a dragon. Okay, Keith, whenever you want. Whenever I want. Yeah, dude. Right now. Go for it. What? That's crazy. <laughs> Can I get another go? That's, you guys aren't supportive. You guys just laugh. We'll, 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 we'll give you, we'll give you another one. I think we laughed at him. Go big or go home. That's what they say, right? Something like that. All right, Keith. Watch them get it. Watch Give me a countdown. It. Three, two, one.
Nailed it, dude. Cool. Nailed that it. Was, that, was that was dope. Great, bro. Guys, what did we learn? Uh, that fire is magical. Fire, fire is, is magical. Just gotta be below 500 microns, Avi. All right, guys, uh, comment down below what other experiments we should do. Apparently, what other things we can light on fire. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you later. All right, goodbye. Bye. 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 Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm so excited to be taking this journey into the world of science with all of you. Let us know if there's any other cool experiments you'd like to see us do. Science! I need to come up with a better catchphrase.